Well, the rogue is uh, trying to stir up some trouble here and attack this undead general. And I believe what I have to do to activate the group to attack is flip over the uh, action or, or life token here and start the attack. Uh, I believe that I'll have the dwarf attack first. He's part of the group. And the dwarf can only use one card. That's all he's got. So that's going to be one black die. Let me zoom out so you can see here. That's his card. And I believe just like in other combats with uh, Undead, he is wounded on a four or higher. So here we go. That's nothing. So bad. The wizard, the wizard is sort of just happens to be there. Eh, he's got one. Okay. Let's let the wizard try. He's got one um, black card as well. So he gets a die. Four or higher. Six. All right. The wizard, perhaps distracted by the, uh, with the general being distracted by the efforts of the dwarf right in his face, the wizard manages to uh, nail him with a magical bolt and hits him for one damage. So that's going to take the undead uh, general down one point. His combat skill, it just says that players may not use any rerolls or special skills when fighting him. All right. I'm not going to have the best of chances to do this, but let's have the rogue initiate her attack. She's got a pile of cards. The first thing I want to do is get all the black cards out. One, two, three, four. Four. So that's going to give us four, four dice we can roll. But she's also got, if you remember from my bad shuffle, she's also got a number of special cards. This can be used against any general. This can be used against any general, any general, any general, and any general. So I might be actually uh, capable of loading up here on additional dice to attack this general. Um, let's just go for it. We're going to put them all. That's three more dice into the mix. So as they say in poker, we're all in. Everything I could possibly throw at this undead general I'm, I'm putting putting at him. So I get to roll all of those dice. Uh, fours or higher will wound him. Here we go. Cue the music. Ah, oh, that's right. Don't have any. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, Four. The others are not good enough. Four damage. Four damage. One, two, three, four. Was that good enough? He was here. One, two, three, four. That killed him. Wow. I think that was just good enough to take him out. Lucky there. That's right, he was hit once, and then he gets hit for one, two, three, four more. We just killed our first general. I thought we'd failed. So the rogue did it. Nice backstab. The first general. Uh, let's take a look at his card here. 
Varkalak. Varkalak. The champion of the undead has been slain. Very good. So the rogue will now become the uh, slayer. I guess I'll put this little token on our card. Slayer of the undead. Very cool. So he's out of the game. Now I understand that that's going to advance the war status to uh, the mid-war. So that means that during each uh, darkness spreads we're going to be drawing two cards. And uh, the first card is used to place minions and move a general. The second card is used for general movement only. Okay. All right. Well, uh, let's take a look at the rewards we get uh, for killing a general. All right. The hero is now the slayer of the undead. That's our rogue. Uh, that means that uh, when she's in the same location as minions of the defeated general, she may spend an action and defeat all the minions of that type uh, without even needing to roll the dice. She gains three hero cards as a reward, and then we already have advanced the war status token to the next box. So three hero cards for the rogue for defeating uh, the, the undead general. Well, excellent. That uh, worked out much better than I expected. So we'll continue now with the, um, the next step in the rogue's turn. Uh, actually, she's got one action left. Maybe we'll need to see if we can go find ourselves a unicorn over there in the unicorn forest, which is uh, which is down this way. So let's see. <clears throat> Why don't we have her? Let me take a look at her cards and see if there's anywhere else I want her to go. I think for her last action. Uh, let's have the rogue take one step this way. She's got the ability to hide in the shadows. Um, so she is still not going, she's not going to suffer damage from this minion's physical attack, but she may take a point of damage from the um, the Black Minion's Fear ability. Isn't that right? Because it says here on her special ability down here that still subject to general and fear penalties. Maybe that won't help her. Hmm. Uh, let me take a look at that. I might reevaluate that action. Just did a little extra reading here. Uh, as far as I can tell, the rogue would lose a point, uh, a life token, if she ends her turn there with the undead, uh, undead minion. So. I think I do want her to make progress on her quest, so I'm going to go ahead and take that damage. It doesn't matter if there's one undead minion there or several. Uh, you only lose one point to fear. So even though she is the slayer of the undead general, as far as I can tell, that still doesn't make her immune to the, the fear effects of the undead. So that's going to end her turn. There was another thing that I failed to do, which was share the loot with the other uh, figures. Uh, each of those, the wizard and the dwarf, also get three cards. Let's give this to the dwarf. And another three. Let's give that to our wizard. So they also get 
a reward. They also all would have suffered uh, the penalties for failure if, as a group, they had not defeated the general. If we had failed in our attempt to defeat the general, uh, a hero would lose 1d6 life tokens and d6 hero cards. And on the back of these, it uh, looks like is some flavor text uh, that that you can read about. So, ah, I guess this is about the undead slayer. I guess the actual rogue gets this card to put with her character. Okay, so the rogue, the undead slayer. She had a good turn. Uh, let's continue. It's it's time for the darkness. Uh, no, no, no. It's time for the evening phase. Uh, that's two hero cards for our rogue. Now, I believe that if my rogue had ended her turn over there with the treasure chest, her uh, ability called Thievery would allow her to draw an extra card. She would have gotten three instead of two. Then, let's see, it's time for the darkness to spread in the mid-war. It says this one is done as normal. We've drawn an all is quiet. That's, that's nice. We draw the second one, and this is called Monarch City. I'm going back over here to the war status card, and I'm going to try to zoom in on it. I know it's at an angle for you. Each player draws two Darkness Spreads card at the end of their turn. The first card is used to place minions and move a general. And the second card is used for general movement only. Well, this one doesn't have anything about generals on it. So what do I do there? Uh... Let me see if I can find an answer. I wonder if I end up drawing a new card. Okay, I found my answer. When you draw a card like this, Monarch City, which basically says put a minion, one minion of each color that has minions adjacent to the city. So we've got green and black. That would be one green and one black in Monarch City. Uh, you lose the game if you ever have five minions in Monarch City. Uh, but since the second card during the mid-war stage is only for general movement, I read on the FAQ document that this doesn't do anything. However, you still follow the reshuffle all decks. So that means that I take all my previous uh, darkness spread cards and I'm going to reshuffle the Darkness Spreads deck. And then I take all of my hero cards. The, the, the hero deck is also going to be shuffled again. But I have to take out all the special cards that were used. They don't get shuffled back in uh, from what I have read and understand. So just these regular cards uh, get shuffled back in with the hero deck. So I'm going to shuffle these, and then that's going to uh, wrap it up. Well, the decks have been reshuffled, and here they are. Special cards, uh, special hero cards were not uh, reshuffled into that stack. That's going to end it for our rogue. Uh, once again, she is now the slayer uh, of the undead. Uh, her card doesn't have a name on it. Maybe we'll call her Buffy. <laughs> Buffy the Undead Slayer. Anyway, we will continue the adventure. And we'll pick it up with the dwarf next.